by Cancellara versus Phil Gaimon. Let's go. So here we have the Cycling News uh, article where it's like, Gaimon calls Cancellara moping do mechanical doping accusations of red herring. Read through the article. He released this new book. His accelerations don't look natural at all. It look uh, like he's having trouble staying on, on top of the pedals. He probably did have a motor. Sorry about the highlighting. When reached by Cycling News, he said that, oh, I didn't even want to talk about that. Bit of a clickbait or whatever. Um, he said it looks unnatural, um, particularly in 2008 Milan San Remo. I don't feel I don't feel like it's news. He's basically trying to say everyone knew he doped. Uh, so anyway, here we go. My one of my favorite bits: bike with the engine. So this is the Roubaix in Flanders. So here we go. He's so I'll we'll skip through this part. And let's get on to the bit with. So here we go. <laughs> it's so funny this. So Cancellaro basically sits in the saddle, rubs it up, and then he just attacks. But look how fast he's going compared to everyone else. He's just like rolling off, and he seems to go so fast. It is really odd. Everyone's like, oh yeah, we weren't going very fast or whatever, but like, he looks like he's absolutely flying. Like, yeah, they aren't. They're not really going full gas, but it's still strung up behind. Like, it's not easy. And then he does this weird movement, I think. He has some weird things with his hands that everyone thought was a bit suspect. But again, he almost almost crashes and fires forward. And you can see it's weird because normally what he does is he holds the top. So he definitely did something with his fingers. If you watch him on the cobbles, he's always on the top. So just weird why he was on there. I guess he does some weird things with his fingers. Like, what was that? Like, I mean, I, I'm pretty convinced that he definitely <laughs> had a motor. I mean, like, everyone in the peloton seems to think he did. But also just, like, the clips are hilarious. Anyway, so let's go. Yeah, now we move on to Flanders. This is even more ridiculous. Also because it's him be Bonin, so it's like the difference between the two isn't going to be that great. I think this is the Muir... Uh, Van Gerardsbergen. Uh, so they're just going round. This is gets the steep part. Oh, they're both side by side. They're both looking pretty tired. They don't have long left. They've probably done two hundred and sixty k's or whatever. And he does look. Look at that weird thing with his uh, right hand. It's like I don't know what he's doing. Like, and then he, he just leaves Bonin for dead. Like yeah, Bonin's doing a bit grinding, but like that. Look how much. And look how much like speed. But the thing is, it's not like Bonin's struggling. Like, yeah, he is a bit. It's more that Cancellara just up the speed so much. Like, often in classics races, like Sagan versus Van Marker last year, um, it was like Sagan was... Sagan wasn't necessarily that much stronger. It was more like Van Marker just cracked massively. While here, Bonin still looks strong, but Cancellara just looks outrageous. Yeah, he, he normally does it with his right finger, so I'm just super sceptical of this whole thing. Uh, apparently Gaimon is now getting a, uh, now, uh, what's his name, Cancellara is going to sue Gaimon because he's not happy with the, with the accusations that he's, uh, that, uh, can we find the article? Uh, no. Um, yeah, here we go. Cancellara demands end the sales of book because of the alleged mechanical doping. So obviously... Cancellara is not happy because <laughs> he's this guy on this other world tour rider now, sort of like Strava boy, is trying to tell him he's got a motor in his bike. Let's have a look at some of the comments. You can't sue someone for printing their opinion. He never framed it as a fact. Yeah, that's. I think it's hard to say. The problem is he printed it, so I feel like he will get sued. He'll probably have to retract it and apologize for any like upset he caused. But he definitely doesn't. He definitely believes it, and um, that's definitely what he thinks. This is the uh, 2010, and uh, yeah, these are the Dodge times that his motor is. So, what do you think? Did Cancellara use a motor in his bike? Probably, I would say. And um, yeah, the the question will be: Will Gaimon have to? Will Gaimon have to like re uh, 
will Gaimon have to redo his, like, <laughs> sorry, will Gaimon have to apologise and uh, take back his words? That is the question. See ya.